better watch out, you better not fail. You better watch out, you better watch out, you better not fail. Cause in your garden there's killer snails. You better watch out, you better not fail. You better watch out, you better watch out, you better not fail. Cause in your garden there's a killer snail. In your garden there's killer snail. So let's create some snail ice and we're using polymorph plastic, heating it up as usual. If you don't have polymorph, you can use tin foil, wrap it up just like we did with the horns and the dragon tutorial and uh, yeah, work that way. Roll it up until you got a little sausage thingy like that and then we need something for an eye. So we found this pretty cool button. It actually looked like an eye, but use your imagination. Push it in there properly, like that. Nelly is kind of pushing some plastic over the edge of the button so that it sits there properly. And then we need to make uh, the base of this antenna eye kind of flat so we have a surface to attach it on, on the head later. Awesome! That was pretty fast, huh? And now we need some teeth. And again, polymorph plastic, but this time you can use clay if you don't have the plastic. Make a little roll again, and this time use scissors and cut it diagonal, like this. That way you get sharp shapes from the beginning. Shape them the way you like. We're having them bent a bit. And remember, you have to make a lot of these. Then flatten the end to make them easy to attach. Like that, and then just let them cool off. And if you make them pointy, they will be sharp. So be careful. This week's shout goes to SFX Emily. At the age of 11, she pulls off some pretty cool SFX tricks. Go check her out. This time, Julia will become the snail. So we measure out where we want the little teeth. And remember, we're creating one inner and one outer circle of teeth, just like we did on the alien. And then we paint the mouth area red. And then we create a little cotton pad inner lip mouth thing using cotton pad and latex. Don't get latex in your eyes. Then go on with black. That's the middle of the mouth. It needs to be black and fade out towards the red. And then we begin attaching teeth to the inner teeth row or teeth circle, I should say. Ellie is adding some cotton to the base of the teeth to make them easier to attach and puts them in place with latex. This might take a while. Heading on to paint some fake gum on the teeth there. Like that. Switching to blood very soon, like there we're switching to blood. Nice. And now we need to dirty up the teeth as well. And Ellie's going with a brown tone here. And of course, it's your creation. You can use any color you like. Oh, hydrate. And guess what? We repeat. Operation Outer Teeth Circle. And here we're using larger teeth, so we need a lot more cotton on the base of them to make them sit there properly. And as you see, Ellie's folding extra cotton around the base of the teeth. This takes time in Swedish is detta tar tid. And when that's done, just paint the gum there, get a little blood on them, dirty up the teeth, be creative. And we lost the footage from the other camera angle here, so this next step might be tricky to see. Basically, Ellie poured latex onto a plate, let it dry and pull off a large sheet of latex. We're gonna use that to create a mouth opening by cutting a large hole in it in the middle. Go around the whole teeth row with latex and yep, attach that thing. Don't worry if it doesn't fit because we're gonna cut it in half anyway. So one upper piece and one lower. Secure it properly with extra latex. And there you see we cut it up. Then make sure the top piece sits there. And then we attach the lower part and this is where we didn't get the second camera angle. I'm sorry about that. But anyway, it's, it's not rocket science. And I know you can do it! And then go around it with latex. One more round. 
And to get the real snail vibe on, we need a nice snaily pattern on the lady. This might also take a while. And by the way, snail in Swedish is snigel. It looks gorgeous. And a snail is not complete if it's not gooey, so we add uh, like uh, olive oil in her hair. And then we continue with the paint job, adding the foundation there, covering up our latex pieces. We match up the paint on the antenna eyes. And to attach them, we cut a little hole in the latex in the forehead. And get it in there under the latex. You probably need to add some support here with cotton pads and latex to get it to sit there properly. It's kind of tricky. Use a hair dryer to get it to sit there properly faster. And while waiting for it to dry up, we uh, continue with the pattern. And when the antennas are in place, we can add additional color to them. And some blood. Oil on your skin as well. And then you're about ready. You are a snail. A killer snail. If you like this, we got more creatures. And if you really liked it, share it with the world and subscribe. Bye.